Hey you guys, what's up? So, here is the 2,000 subscriber question and answer. Here are my answers to the many questions, the many, many questions that you guys had for me. I'll try to get most of them. <laughs> Jordan. I'll try to get most of them. Um, if I miss a couple, I apologize, but your question did not go unnoticed. I'd just like to say now, thank you each and every one of you for the support you guys have shown this channel over the course of a couple months. Never did I believe that we would get this far. I thought 81 subscribers and that was the end of it. I didn't think I would get any higher than 81 for whatever reason That was the number that stuck in my mind and here we are a couple months later 2,000 subscribers going strong to 3,000 which is absolutely amazing to me Thank you very much and the support all the love all everything. I I wish I could do more than say thank you but here is a big thank you to everyone who has been helping me through this and been supportive of everything that's been going on on this channel and liking the content. And yes, I do indeed notice you when you comment on my stuff and I do notice a lot of you guys that return as well and I consider you guys very, very loyal subscribers and I'm very appreciative of you guys. Now as you guys know, my pronunciation is really bad, however, I will try my best to get your names right. But I will never get your name right, S Svet A? I, I don't know. I've I've seen you around here for a while, bud, and I, I tell me how to pronounce your name if you see this video, all right? Your question was, I know this is a question that you might not want to answer, and it's totally fine, but I'm really curious about what your accident was. Now, I will answer this in a little bit more detail, not too much, but a little bit more because you yourself asked it. I've noticed you've been on this channel for a while. You've been following me since the Direwolf update on Ark, actually. That's when I really started to notice you shine on this channel and asking me questions. What had happened to me was I was in a work accident, and then a couple days after that, ironically, going to see my doctor, uh, the work accident did do damage to my back, uh, while I was going to see my doctor, I was rear-ended from a dead stop. I was in a left turning lane, getting ready to make a left turn into a shop, and a car came out of nowhere, hit me at like 70 or 80 kilometers an hour, um, damaged my back a bit more, and, and the rest will probably come in a draw my life or something like that. I'll let you guys in on more of what had happened. David asked me, what is your definition of the most fun game you've ever played? Well, that goes between Tribes Ascend, Guns, and probably World of Warcraft, and then obviously our Hurt World, and then these games that I currently record are also very fun. But the most fun I had ever had on a game would be between Tribes Ascend and Guns, and then after that it would be World of Warcraft, even though the game is a little bit stale right now because of the lack of updates and stuff like that. And then finally you have Ark and Hurt World, which are way up there with those games, but they are the current games that I'm playing more than anything else. Alex asked, I have one question for the next video. What do you think that could happen if Ark was not implemented? Also, what other games are you going to post in the future? I know you record Ark and Hurt World, but that's it. I'm a new YouTuber and I'm still learning stuff that I thought would be easy, but that's a long way path. Now I have just 19 subscribers, all by luck. My friends don't know English, so my channel cannot spread out easily. It is hard to record every week, but you every day busy on recording, editing, and posting. That takes a long time. I really appreciate your work, and I'm kind of proud that I know your channel. I'm glad you're proud to know my channel. I'm not sure how many of you actually are proud to have found my channel out of nowhere, but I'm happy that you are proud to know of my channel and know that I actually exist on YouTube. I'm actually really thankful for that. Getting noticed on YouTube is something that's really, really hard, and... There's, anyone can do it, yes, anyone can do YouTube. I will strongly, like any day, you could stop right now, just stop this video and start YouTube. You could quite literally do it, so don't believe you can't because anyone can do this. Anyone can build a gaming community, anyone can do a vlogging community, anyone can. It just depends on how much work you really want to put into it. Now, in some cases, some people are special, like you have Markiplier, and he has that golden voice. He has that personality. He is all around 110% perfect for YouTube. I could not see that guy doing anything else but YouTube live streaming and being himself it everyone has their own thing like I've heard from almost everyone that's come to this channel that they love my voice and that's why they keep coming back because they think I am a good commentator me personally I don't think I'm a good commentator I don't like my voice but that's it that's just how how things are um, as far as new games 
I'm gonna do the aisle, and I'm gonna do rust in the future. I have a special person I'm gonna be working with to do some rust collaborations with. I've been speaking with this guy for a little while now, and uh, seems to know his stuff. He, I think he's gonna be a good guy to work with, and hopefully we'll get some good videos out for you guys really soon. A lot of raiding content from what I uh, from what I can gather, and it's going to be a ton of fun. Seb the Gamer. Hey, Anthomnia, congrats on 2,000 subs. Here is my question. Me and some other YouTubers have an ARC server, and we would love for you to join. Would it be possible? As you can see, I've already answered that question, but I would still like that server information because you haven't given it to me yet, and I will definitely come by and say hi and hang out with you guys. That goes for anyone else that plays Ark or Hurt World. I will come by if you guys ask in a video, and I'll say hi and stuff. I can't guarantee I will constantly play on that server, but I will do it at least once to see what you guys have been up to, see what you guys have been doing. If it's something cool on the server, I'll definitely record that with you guys and show everyone else on the channel. Zor FTW. Hey man, Kraden slash Zor from WoW and TeamSpeak. I know you personally. Excuse my, <laughs> excuse my stupid name, but here is my question. Why do you do so many survival games for your videos? Do you consider yourself a pro at them or play them a lot? And would you consider doing other games with some other people besides Hux. Anyways, man, love your videos. We'll see you in the future vids and in the lands of Azeroth. Well, you definitely will see me on World of Warcraft because I play that a ton. Um, I actually get a lot of people that message me on World of Warcraft about my videos because I did make some Paladin videos a little while ago. Um, as far as collaborating with other people besides Hux Store, I definitely will. Um, I actually have something coming up very soon. As I mentioned earlier, I will be doing a collaboration with another YouTuber. However, Huxthor is one of my best friends. He's my best bud. Like, he is my go-to person. If he wants to collaborate on a game, he is numero uno. I go to that guy for, like, anything. And, um, I, as far as being a pro, I don't see myself as a professional anything. I don't see myself as a professional welder, which is my trade. I don't see myself as a professional YouTuber. I don't see myself as a professional gamer. I know there are many people on this planet that are much better at what they do than what I am. And that's just a fact of life. Anywhere you go, someone will always be able to do something better. The only thing that you can really work off of is your talent for it and how good you can be. But at the end of the day, I don't see it as a competition. I see it as having fun. Unless you're like in phase or something, then you have to be a pro. <laughs> Will Ride asked, what is your favorite game to do videos on? My favorite game to do videos on is a mixture between Hurt World and Ark. Right now, I am leaning towards Hurt World. However, when I get into Rust and the Isle, I have a creeping suspicion I'm going to get into those even more. Fuzzy JRFTW, would you rather dunk your head into a barrel of fermented fish? guts and fish eyes staring at you from within the barrel for 45 seconds or suck on a slimy riddling rithering slug for five seconds Ooh, i would say the slug hmm tasty escargo luke how did you meet Huxthor? Also, how did you get that sweet intro and outro? You have 2,000 subs and are about the top 2% for best intro and outro. I had someone called Evaded FX. He did the intro and outro for me. Great guy to work with. I actually paid him for the intro and outro as well because he does really high quality good work. He has a YouTube channel dedicated to intros. I would highly suggest anyone here that wants to start YouTube, you hit that guy up. I'll throw you his way. He has a Skype out there and stuff. I mean, you could contact him. He will make you something that is extravagant to say the least. Magic Gamer asked, Anthom, I have a question for you. Please answer it. Would you ever do a ARC special where you play with your subs? Definitely. I was doing a live stream a little while ago and I spoke with you guys about that and that is something I will definitely be planning. Actually, me and Huxthor want to do a thing where we get our subscribers together in our own groups and then we have a huge war on Hurt World or ARC or something and I would love to do that. That is something that is definitely planned and we will love to see you guys there. Ender PE asked, what is your real name and if you don't want to answer that, how can or can you do Fallout 4? Well, Tommy answered that for me. Uh, my name is Anthony and my name is Anthomnia. Uh, on YouTube because, well, Anthony and Insomnia. I don't sleep. I'm the sleepless gamer. So, Anthomnia was the best thing I could think of. Um, otherwise, uh, can I do Fallout 4? I play a little bit of Fallout 4, but my save file got corrupted, and I really don't feel like playing through the game again to try and get to that point. I might record it. I might not, but it's more towards the might definitely not record it, to be honest with you. It's a great game, but I don't think it's the game for my channel. Fuzzy JRFTW asked again, 
Would you kindly look up the Abyssal Sea Cucumber Lava? Yeah, I already did that. You guys don't do that because that thing looks gross. And if you had to have the worst superpower, what would it be and why? The worst superpower I would have is to teleport individual bones from my body to outer space. And ha hello, Huxthor. Um, teleport individual. <laughs> that's that's so be that's so fitting for the video. Thanks, bud. Um, my my choice would be to teleport an individual bone from my body, teleport it to outer space with no ability to get that one bone back at all. I would definitely teleport one bone from my body, send it to space, never be able to get it again. That would be the most useless superpower I can think of, the worst one. I don't know. If you guys think of anything, though, let me know what you think. What is the worst superpower you could think of? Like, the absolute worst. Leave a comment below, let me know. Jordan Harrington asked, Do you even vape, bro? Now, this is funny, because I know Jordan in real life. He's the one that got me off of cigarettes. Yes, I used to smoke, and it's very bad for you. Do not smoke. Never smoke. I, I was stupid. I'm just a stupid person, okay? I'm just a big dum-dum. Um, I used to smoke, and now I use a vaporizer. Uh, he's the one that introduced me to it. Uh, we went into town. I got a vaporizer, and then I've been hooked ever since. Now I spend almost all of my free time at Quality Vapor with him and a couple of the other guys, learning how to build coils, you know, vaping, being social, which I have no social life, so that's basically the only extent of say saying hi to people that I have. Detect asked, do you know Huxthor in real life or just through YouTube? I only know him through YouTube. He's in the United States. I'm in Canada. Vintage Dino asked, if you could play only one game in your Steam library for the rest of your life, what game would it be? I would have to say Ark Survival Evolved because they have so much stuff coming to that game and I'm going to want to see it all, I'm going to want to use it all, play it all, record it all, upload it all, I'm going to, that will be my go-to game had I, if, if I have no other choice on the planet for a game to play. Absolutely great game, if you don't have it, I highly suggest you get that game. And I am not sponsored by Ark at all, Wildcard Studios doesn't want anything to do with me because I'm only a small YouTuber. <laughs> Not Mumbo Jumbo, someone who's been around here for a long time too, a really long time actually, since like the 80-ish subscriber mark, I think, maybe a little bit earlier. Uh, can you join Slipgator's server? Well, I don't know Slipgator, I don't know Starsnipe, I don't know any of the big YouTubers that play on that server. I'm sure if I became friends with them, they'd invite me to play on that server too. I'm sure they're all great people, you know, outside of the uh, world of YouTube and stuff. But I, it would, I'd have to go through loop, like leaps and bounds to try and get on that server. I'm sure it's possible, but at the moment, I really just have no, I have no interest to play on that server all at all. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the server I play on right now, Black Island, and I maybe in the future I'll look into it. Maybe uh, if they allow other YouTubers to go onto their server, I'll have to see about that. And then we have the final question, potatoes. What is your favorite animal? You have to say octopusy. <laughs> All right, potatoes. My favorite animal is a dog, not a octopusy, a dog. Well, that's basically it for this 2,000 subscriber special video with the Q&A stuff and you guys asking the questions, I give the answers. I appreciate all of the all the questions that you guys asked me a ton, and it's really cool that you guys wanted to know a little bit more about me and stuff. And hopefully we hit 3,000 subscribers really soon. That, I think that'd be really cool if we were able to make it to 3,000. I have a lot of content planned and I'm going to be doing a lot more editing over the past little while and over the next little while to try and uh, improve myself a little bit here on YouTube. As you guys can see, my dossiers have improved a lot. You guys actually really like the uh, Tapi Jara fan dossier. I just wanted to mess around with that and be a little bit silly and you guys seem to love it. So um, keep an eye out for that stuff. And once again, thank you guys so much for the support. 2,000 subscribers strong, which is absolutely amazing. Here's to 3,000.